Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Sides, and this course is Principles of Macroeconomics. We're in Chapter 11, Measuring the Cost of Living. This is our third installment, uh, lecture installment, and in this installment, we're going to speak not just about consumer price index, but specifically about inflation and a term that we call indexation. Um, if you do not know what that means, then you need to look it up in the textbook for the definition. But this lecture, we're going to talk about indexation, and we're going to talk about real versus nominal. Remember in Chapter 10, we spoke about real GDP, nominal GDP. And if you will remember, real GDP means that it is adjusted, and that um, nominal GDP means that it is a current that same rule, rule, real and nominal, still applies here. So when we talk about um, real, the real CPI or, or um, the nominal CPI or whenever we use those terms, real versus nominal, the process by which we determine, we move from nominal to real is called indexation. And remember um, also from last chapter, uh, that we spoke about inflation meaning uh, meaning rising prices and then with nominal how fast are the prices rising and real how fast does the purchasing power rise and this is relative to um, inflation so again when we talk about real inflation or nominal inflation basically what we're saying is the prices are rising and so we need to know if it's the price that's rising or if it's the purchasing power that's rising.